I'm kind of wishing I'd brought a towel with me. G'day folks. Today I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way to cook yabbies. Or if you're from America, crawfish. Which side's wettest? Hey you! You're watching Robbie Cooking! Right, I'm all set up and ready to start cooking. I'm going to be filming with my big camera, which is pointing down on what I'm doing. So you probably won't see my head. A lot of people will probably think that's a good thing. I've got my water, all my cooking gear. I'm going to be sitting on my wild bait fishing jumper. I've had this for years, and now it's going to be a dry seat. And there's some yabbies. I caught these yabbies back in the autumn, and I've just, I suppose you could say figuratively, I've saved them for a rainy day. <laughs> I just, I do that every year, I keep a few away in the winter time in case I need them for anything and I've just decided to come out and cook them, so let's get cooking Right, we're in position There is a road behind me, I'm on a uh, roadside reserve here so you could hear a little bit of uh, a bit of traffic noise from time to time or a bit of wind because it is a bit of a blustery day Right, now this is what I consider to be the most convenient way to cook yabbies Convenient because I can get away with using a smaller pot, a smaller amount of water, it's quicker, I can cook a lot more in a smaller area, and it's cleaner. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is put the water in the pot. I don't know, I've got seven yabby tails, so I reckon I'll need to fill it about halfway. I reckon that'll be, uh, I reckon that'll be plenty. We're roaring! Put that lid on there. I'm going to push that over to the edge. Now, while the water's boiling, I'm going to humanely kill these yabbies. The easiest way to cook yabbies is just to throw them in the boiling water, get the water to a raging boil, throw them in, boil them for a few minutes. But this isn't the easiest way, this is the most convenient way. Here is my first yabby. I'm not going to show this on the video because YouTube doesn't like this kind of stuff. But what? How can I move that? Hang on, bear with me. I've just moved the pot over to the other side of the table, so it's a little bit quieter. That stove makes a bit of noise. Right, on a yabby, the easiest way to cook a yabby is to bring a pot of water to the boil. When it's boiling, drop the yabby in. It takes about two or three minutes, and then this part here, which is called the carapace, will break away from the tail and a gap will develop there, and then they're ready. But this isn't about being the easiest way, this is about being the most convenient way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna euthanize the yabby, and then I'm going to just cook the tail and any claws if they're big enough. Now to kill a yabby, the best thing to do is to put a spike in. You'll see they've got that bit of a, a line there in their saddle. Put a knife in there, just cut the head clean in half, and that will kill them straight away. They will still wiggle a little bit, but don't worry about that. That's just what crustaceans do. Now, I'm going to stop uh, filming. I'm going to edit out, starting from right now. Now, there is my dead yabby. You can see now it's very limp. You still will see a little bit of wiggle in the tail. That's quite natural. Most animals do that. Even when you shoot rabbits, they'll do that after you've killed them. And even some fish, after you break their neck, their tail will still flop. I think it's just their nerves. So I've just stuck my knife down in there, cut the head in half, and killed the yabby. And now I'm going to do that with the rest of the yabbies. Wow, that water is already boiling. Now I've got my yabbies here, they've been put to sleep. Now the ones with big claws, which is not many, because they're not the biggest yabbies, they're okay. I'm going to take the claw off, and I'm going to take the tail off. So I break the claw off the arm, throw the arm away. Now out the bush here, if I throw these shells, I'm not going to leave them right here next to this table, but I will throw them a distance over there, and then the ants and magpies and stuff will come and make them disappear pretty quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them upside down, put my thumb under its tail like that, Grab the top half and turn. And that is, when they're green or when they're, they're not cooked, they're usually uh, very clean, just like that. Actually, what I'll do with these shells, I'll put them on the corner of the table here and I'll take them away from the picnic ground. This is a, uh, 
Last time I cooked them, I just left them on the ground, but I was in a remote area. This is a roadside stop, so I won't throw them on the ground here. I'll take them away elsewhere. Right, now this is one of the best tips you'll ever see when cooking yabbies. You may have seen this in one of my videos before. I've done this a few times, but you fan the tail out. You'll see there's five little, uh, little fins, I think you call them. You get the middle one, that's attached to the poo line. You twist it, and that pipe should just come straight out just like that. I will throw that little bit away. Now that is ready to go in the pot. And I'm gonna do that with all of these yabbies. That one there hasn't got a big enough claw, so I'm not gonna worry about the claw, so I'll break, I'll break the tail off. I should have done that on camera. I'm not sure whether the camera got that. I'll pull the middle fin out, pull the pipe out, throw that away, ready to go. Now the pipe won't come out with every yabby, but it does come out with most of them. So twist, pull the tail off, pull the pipe out, Tail's ready to go. Now this is what I'm left with. Seven yabby tails and two claws. The claws weren't very big. These are nice size yabbies. They're big yabbies, but they're certainly not as big as they get. I prefer them to be a bit bigger, but they're still okay. These are a good eating size, but the claws just weren't all that great. So I've kept two claws. The rest I'll throw out. Let's bring back the hot water. We'll bring that back up to a boil. It's already boiling. Throw them in. Being careful not to splash yourself. I can put the lid on if I want, just to help it come back up to the boil pretty quick. Oh, I forgot. I forgot my lemon. Throw some lemon juice in there with them. You don't have to use additives like lemon juice. Might even put a little bit of this salt in there. Now hopefully the audio is not too bad because that's quite a loud little stove. You don't have to, you don't have to have additives. But if you do, I like lemon, I like salt, and I like vinegar. Vinegar is great. A little bit of vinegar in there with them, it just uh, it just enhances the flavours a bit. But nothing, I don't like too much. Yabbies are the nicest eating food you can get. I don't want to dis I don't want to taint that amazing taste with too many additives. Those yabby tails have cooled that water down so much that it's still not quite boiling again. It was boiling when I, it was boiling when I put them in, and now it's taking a while to come back up to the boil. And that's why I like to, uh, if I am cooking them whole, I like to have a really big pot. So the ratio between boiling water and the little yabby going in isn't enough to take the water off the boil. Oh, it's starting to boil. I can leave that off now. I reckon I'll give that about three minutes. I just went and got a clean plate. I've got two of these in my cooking set. That one's a little bit, a uh, little bit yucky. We're boiling like mad here. Oh, that smells so good. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this to get them out. I need to fish out seven tails and two claws. Three tails and a claw. Six tails. Seven tails. One claw. Got them. That's everything. Now I'll throw this water away. Now that pot can begin to cool down. Everything can cool down. And there's my yabbies. There we have it, a nice feed of yabbies. Right, now let's start getting these yabbies ready to eat. When you cook them whole, you've got to pull the top of the shell off, 
and then you've got to pull the meat out, then you've got to pull the lid off to get that pipe out. But we've already done that in one easy go. So all I've got to do is pull the shell off and it's ready to go. And I'm going to put that shell in this saucepan here with the rest of the, uh, the yabby frames and stuff from before. And then I will uh, throw them out somewhere on the way home, away from houses and away from picnic areas. Somewhere where there's likely to be ants and stuff that will clean them up pretty quick. And there is my yabby tail. Ready to go. I'll show them over this. Another one. Another one. And that there is the finished product. I've got to be careful that I don't slide down. I've got my uh, yabby tails and a couple of claws. You can give them a wash in a bit of water if you like. I think I'm actually out of water, so I'll um I'll just uh, put a bit of salt on and chew away. They look great. Right, a little bit of salt. That's all I need. The taste test. Wow. They are so good. I ate some Murray crayfish. I don't make a crayfish catch and cook. It's about seven weeks ago. It's about back in June at the start of the cray season. And they were very, very nice. But as far as I'm concerned, yabbies are much nicer. The texture is just so much different. They're firmer. It's a firmer texture. They're easier to shell and they just taste sweeter. It's got to be the nicest food on the planet. Now the shells, these are the claws, these are only small claws. I get the little nipper out, I pull that little fin out like that, just sort of break, pull it sideways until it comes out. Now your dentist will probably tell you not to do this, but I normally just bite it to break the shell, and then I can pull the meat out of the claw, and there's the claw meat. You can use things to crack the shell, like a nutcracker, or a pair of pliers or something, if the shell's too big. And that is, that's an extra special piece of meat. The claw is nicer than the tail. And that's saying something. I don't know how I'll go, but my friend Sandy, he's got a YouTube channel called The Camo Man Adventures. He does it like this. He hits him with his elbow. That didn't work. Sandy, the elbow technique might work for you, mate, but it doesn't work for me. I, I've got minced yabby claw. <laughs> If I can find the link, if I can find the the, uh, the video of Sandy's, is that he's fishing and yabbing at Lake Dartmouth? I'll put the link of, uh, to his video at the end of this video, and you'll uh, you'll see him. He does it with his elbow, but it works better for him than it does for me. <laughs> Folks, that's it. I'm done. How easy do you want it? I caught these yabbies back in the autumn. I leave them in a big foam box, a polystyrene box, with just a little bit of water in the shady side of the house. The water must get so cold. They just go into a deep sleep. They don't move around and fight much. They don't move much, but they survived all winter. And I've still got probably two dozen little ones in those polystyrene containers. I've got two, one for the small bait-sized yabbies, then one for the larger eating yabbies, these ones here. There's no more big ones left now, but there's still uh, a heap of small bait-sized yabbies if I want to go fishing. Now this technique, it's not the easiest. The easiest is to just boil the yabbies and then eat them. And from you boil them, you bring the water to the boil, put the yabbies in, put any additives that you might want to add like lemon, vinegar, salt, or Cajun seasoning if you're from America and that's how you cook crayfish, or crawfish, or corn, whatever, they, whatever you like. But the easiest way to do it is just to boil a pot, throw the yabbies in and that's it. From there you can add your extras. This is still a very easy way to do it, but it's a most convenient way. I've just cooked seven yabbies in that much water, in a small amount of water with a small pot and a small stove, it's easier to shell them this way because you don't have to stuff around with their tail getting that pipe out. You, you get it out in one foul sweep when they're green. This is probably my favourite way to cook yabbies. Folks, I hope you found this video informative and useful and thank you all very much for watching.